Hi! So, Friday. Uh, as I alluded to earlier in the week, this is probably going to not be a typical fun Friday video. I mean, it's going to be fun, and there's probably at least going to be one person that's going to be like, I don't know, but it's interaction, you know what I mean? Um, it's, as the title says, y'all need to chill, or, you know, as some kids say, arrest your breasts, or as some people like to put, um, a, you know, whatever, calm the calamity that has your memories, or whatever you want to say. And so, it's about multiple things <laughs> that people are just wigging the f out about, like beyond all, and it's, they're freaking out about X, but they're not about Y, and I'm like, what? Because, so, this all started Tuesday, when I basically lost a, per a friend on Facebook, but um, we had gotten to know each other, he liked a bunch of my posts, and then commented on a post that I was posting as something humorous from No Man's Sky, a flying spaghetti monster, basically a bug with tentacles, and it flew through the air, and Aaron and I were like, no, oh hell no, no, like, I scanned it, and I realized it was an herbivore, and I was like, I got out of there, and it was like the second to last thing I needed on the planet, and then we got off that planet, because we were like, this is gross, bye. So I finally found that video on my thing and posted it and was like, sweet, you know, this is gross. And then so he commented on that. Apparently there's a whole sh ton of No Man's Sky hate. Now, until this, until like Aaron had somewhat brought it up because he'd seen some stuff or he'd went through the No Man's Sky subreddit to do stuff and just like check out what's going on there. And yeah. Um, and he found just an absolute butt ton of hate. I haven't gotten any hate on my videos on my gaming channel. And, uh, but then again, we only have two subscribers and like less than 100 views, but whatevs. And so, but according to the guy that I had on Facebook, the things people are pissed off about with No Man's Sky is that they were promised X, like, could even be weeks ago or years ago or months ago about No Man's Sky. And when it shipped, it didn't come out. Now, here's the thing. World of Warcraft has promised me lots of shit. Lots of shit. That has never come into the game. Like, the big, the two biggest things are the fact that, was it Wrath of the Lich King or Cataclysm? One of the two, one of those two expansions, I think it was Cataclysm, because the talent tree was getting absolutely out of control. Um, that, but they were going to put in the Path of the Titans. The Path of the Titans, which... It went through so much, so much. It got through half the beta, and people are like, oh my god, this Path of the Titan's gonna be really cool. They weren't getting much information out of it, because this was still when they did like closed betas. It wasn't quite an open beta yet, so, but they didn't put much information, but they put a lot of development time into Path of the Titans. And then literally one day I logged into MMO Champion, and they scrapped it and had to almost retool the expansion to figure out what the fuck to do. Because, I didn't know. It's just, uh, what? Uh, I was like, how do you, what is it, what is going on? Um, and then there's the dance studio, which I think they promised during, that they'd start working on during Wrath of the Lich King, and then we thought maybe it'd be in for Cataclysm, but thought, no, that was going to take too long, and then maybe it'd come in for Pandaria, because that's kind of a relaxed, ab no, 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 Legion, no, now we're on, or, Warlords of Draenor? No. Nope. Now Legion? No, nope, not there. We have no dance studio, and they pretty much scrapped it. We've been promised two major things, nothing. Um, and it's just like, why, how are you so upset over being promised something that didn't make it into the game? Those, for all you know, this game is not done yet. You know, there could be updates. And one of the things people need to chill out about is Colin Kaepernick. I'm not saying that I side with these crazy people that say he's unpatriotic. I like the fact that he didn't stand. Uh, I kind of like, you know, I don't say the pledge, not because I dislike the country, not because I don't stand what the flag stands for. I just, I'm lazy. I'm like, like, I just... I'm like, oh, you know, and I'm doing my white privilege thing. I don't care. I don't say the pledge, not because I don't like the country. I love this country, but it needs to grow the fuck up. And it's the government and a lot of the populace needs to, like, chill 
And I understand the internet is a great place, like I'm doing here, to express an opinion. The problem is, as a society as a whole, we are, and I've brought this up numerous times before because I'm getting, I'm getting tired of it, but I'm not getting so tired of it I give up on it. I'm tired of seeing the negativity around the internet. Now the news, yes, does bring about negative things because guess what? The news basically is a business and gives you what you want, you as a populace which people want to hear about depressing things. When you hear about something good, like a whole host of puppies just got adopted from the Humane Society, you're like, oh, cute puppies. When's the next war? You know, it's like when we have, like, who, I, I actually saw a demographic, or not a demographic, but a, a chart once that's like, when we are slated to have nice weather for like seven days in a row, people stop watching the weather segment. Like, they'll watch the news and they'll switch over to something else when the weather comes on, especially when it's not during sports season. I mean, at least football season, basketball season, which is fall and winter. But, like, during the summer, I mean, I understand people want to go outside, but it's just that nobody cares about the weather when it's boring and happy and good. Two fans, they go outside, but I do, except recently I've been playing a lot of No Man's Sky. And on... Uh, Side note, if you want multiplayer, drastic multiplayer No Man's Sky, go play EVE. If you play EVE and you're like, man, I wish this had less people, play No Man's Sky. Seriously, they look the same. No Man's Sky is space Minecraft. And instead of traveling to different biomes on the same planet, you just travel to a different planet. Yeah, it takes a while to get there. Yeah, it's boring. Yeah, you have to do a lot of mining and you talk with a bunch of NPCs. Guess what? It's boring. It's Minecraft. A lot of people love Minecraft. There's a lot of people that love No Man's Sky. But the people that hate on it are trying to get people to believe with them so much because they maybe even, they don't really understand why they hate it so much. So they need other people to validate why they're reason. And the same thing is with Colin Kaepernick. People are hating upon him for, because they don't want to be told that this is happening. They don't want to be told about Black Lives Matter. They don't want to be told about, you know, law enforcement bias in some areas of the country on some police forces. And it's not even all of them. I would have to say 95% of the cops out there are ridiculously good. But it's not even, you know, I've seen reports of it happening in Seattle. Um, so the Pacific Northwest is not this glorious, like, safe haven. I need a little bit of water. But that's, and so it's like, Colin Kaepernick didn't stand for the pledge because he gave an actual political reason, and he basically just sort of sat down. He staged a sit-in, a solo sit-in, but still a sit-in. And people, he may lose his job with the NFL. He may lose literally everything. Not that, aside the fact that he may not have had too terribly much to begin with, but, you know, I don't care whether your team makes it to the Super Bowl or never makes the playoff. You're still a starting quarterback for an NFL team. That entitles you to at least some prestige. Some prestige. But right now, more people are focused on Colin Kaepernick than Tom Brady. Now, that should say something when Tom Brady is inherently probably the Patriots and Tom Brady are the most hated team in the NFL. Why? Because they win. And people don't like it when people beat their team. And that's just competition, teams and stuff, and whatever. But right now, Colin Kaepernick is pulling away from Tom Brady's 90s Saved by the Bell haircut. And deflate game. And his four-game suspension. And I'm kind of okay with this one, but seriously, you're pulling it away for the wrong reason. I mean, I love the fact that people... I saw a video this morning after the game that the, 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 Gi that the Giants did, and Colin Kaepernick has, like, a row of fans, and people are like, sit with Kaepernick, veterans for Kaepernick. They have, like, signs they're holding. And I was like, good, he, he realizes in the stands he has fans. And he has fans on Twitter from veterans for saying, I didn't fight for a song, I fight for your right to be able to do what you should do, and that's, you know, protest. Whether, you know, the veteran agrees with the protest or agrees with the method of protest or even plays on a team that the person likes. You know, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, I never served in the military. I kind of did a lot to avoid serving in the military. I mean, I didn't skip out on the draft because I'm not, I'm not old enough to have had a draft during my time. But I got really snarky with recruiters when they'd continuously call me over and over on my cell phone that had minutes. And anyways, that's a different story. But it's just like, 
when you hate something, and if I and some of the people that I see post on Facebook and other social medias, usually Tumblr. That's why I stopped talking to Tumblr. They post about I hate all the hate in the world, and they even say that that, that you know they blah blah blah. They're posting about hate that they hate hate, and it's getting redundant. But that they dislike all the hate that is scrolling past their timeline, and then. But, the, but they're trapped within the hate themselves. They don't, they don't see it. Because when they hate something, they want, some, they want to validate it to other people. And it's just like, chill out, folks. It's not worth it. Solve a problem. If it's unsolvable with the resources you have, find a way to continue solving it. Don't just sit there and say the problem doesn't exist. Because climate change is real and uh, subtle racism is real, and, you know, No Man's Sky being a terrible game with unfulfilled promises, and, you know, the worst game ever created, and the w worst thing you could ever spend your money on? No. I guarantee you, I have spent way more money on bullshit that I've blown through in an hour. I've spent $60 on food that I have spent an hour eating. And I have spent days at this point playing No Man's Sky. So is it a waste of money? So is food. It's enjoyable, trust me. Playing No Man's Sky is sometimes less enjoyable than food. You know, and I was even talking with one of my friends, uh, especially about Kaepernick, uh, that it's just like, he gets to do what he wants. And when it comes to like No Man's Sky, I'm like, it's $60. Do you know what? I mean, apparently the people the people that are complaining about spending $60 on No Man's Sky and calling it a waste of money have never done drugs. Like, I have spent $80 on weed and smoked it in 20 minutes and been high for 8 hours and woke up the next day and looked for another $80 to buy to spend weed on. If you think that literally nine, you know, 8 hours, 9 hours, and then the, the sex amount of sleep is worth $60 of being Gord versus playing a video game that really gets you off the internet, tunes you out of reality, and actually lets you kind of escape life, but it's boring. And you didn't get all the promises fulfilled. It's almost like gamers being angry at No Man's Sky is almost the equivalent of white privilege. Because it's like, you guys were promised stuff, but then you didn't get it, and you're like, Nye! I just can't. And y'all can hate on the comments. You guys can throw the hate my way. You can download this fucking video. I don't really care. If you hate No Man's Sky and you don't think that I'm in the right, whatever. Things are irrational recently and people need to chill out and start thinking a little bit of logic now because you're all letting your emotions just fly out of control and nobody's thinking logically about things and I don't get it. Oh shit, we're at 13 minutes. I'm gonna go. I need to get stuff about my day and I'm getting worked up. But at least I'm back in SJW mode. I will catch you guys over the weekend. Bye.